Every day I wake up and there's a new group of climate hippie militants just coming out of nowhere. Do you know why it happens? Because once they have a group and they get negative press and publicity and everything else, then they go, create a new one, change a name, and do the same thing over and over again. Extinction Rebellion, slightly quiet now because their weird permanent plan of uh, taking over the city in London didn't really go well. Now we got Insulate Britain. Now, Insulate Britain who decided to block the road on M25 towards Essex uh, to get some attention, and they did. And I know you guys would say, don't even talk about them, you're giving them publicity. Well, well I did in the last few days, because I was quite frustrated with the way the police were handling the situation. The police allowed them to sit there, blocking the roads. Uh, motorists and ordinary people were shouting at them, asking the police to help them. This is what the Met were doing. If you have any discomfort, we are here to help you, not ordinary people who just want to get on with their day. That was the problem I had over the last few days. Luckily, they finally met, decided to listen to the public and their bosses, taxpayers, and remove them. They finally went in and arrested them. What you're doing? <laughs> Not really sure what their the purpose is at this point. The the Met, some of the officers would say that, oh well, because uh, there is a bureaucratic process. Well, where we stand there, we have to get the command first. There has to be an order. And they have to go through the paperwork. Apparently, it takes five days to get through that, unless it's an anti-lockdown protest. Then they can just go in and arrest everyone. I mean, you do get the double standard in policing, right? It doesn't really look good for the Met. And they have been trying to redeem themselves. Uh, the other week, they also went in and removed the Extension Rebellion hippies. Now they got the IB guys. Um, this is the time for us to reform this mentality. If you are so bureaucratic, then do it for both sides and actually reform yourself. Try to make policing a lot simpler. Uh, so stop being worried about health and safety issues. Make the law easier so that you guys can actually introduce it on the roads in Britain. Now, the, the public are sick and tired of all these guys. They don't care about their names or branding because the latest um, poll that came out, uh, only, well, 4%, only 4% of Britain actually have a, f a very positive uh, view and outlook on uh, of uh, Extinction Rebellion. And uh, the rest of them are just 15%. So the majority, a big chunk, um, the, the rest, I mean, the majority of the public, they just don't want to get involved with this sort of thing because they're like, well, we, we are British. We don't really do protests. We don't do these sort of weird movements. And the biggest chunk is actually fairly negative and very negative. So it's not working, guys. Even if you change your branding, you change your name, and you change the way you dress, you still look hippie anyway. And no one really cares about you. It, the more you attack the British public, the more you're going to lose support. There are a lot of people who are on the fence when it comes to being pro-environment. You know, general pro-environment. People who are pro-clean air, clean water, just want to live in a clean environment. That's it. You're actually alienating every single person who could even support you and donate to your cause. So from my side of the political spectrum, thank you. Thank you for making things worse for yourself. And we are here to continue to not give you publicity or airtime, but criticize when the police fail to take action. Right, so I had to self-censor myself as I was talking about some of this stuff because uh, this site will not allow me to upload the real version of uh, the footage uh, at 6 p.m. Today's Daily Show, we are going to be talking about a specific topic that we definitely can't even post a short version of it on this platform. It's about the C word, the, the virus one, not the other ones. So it's about the virus and the thing that we can't say. Uh, it's about uh, the latest research that's exposing some of the stuff that we had a feeling about, some of the lies from government and medical professionals that's now been finally confirmed. So if you want to check out, check that out and watch the Daily Shows and podcasts, go to my 2 dot co.uk, subscribe to the channel and support independent media.